Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here, uh, bringing you another video. Uh, so yesterday I uploaded a updated version of my how to install ZoneMinder video on uh, Ubuntu server. Since I already just uploaded that video, I thought I'd go ahead and upload a video on how you can upgrade ZoneMinder on Ubuntu. I couldn't find a lot of documentation on how to do this, and uh, I found it kind of difficult to get that going, so... One of my subscribers here on YouTube uh, sent me a step-by-step uh, -step tutorial on how he upgraded his zone minder, and so I gave it a shot, and it worked great. So I thought I'd put this video together and show everybody else. So as you can see here, um, I'm currently running version 1.29.0 um, of zone minder here on Ubuntu. So, uh, so we'll have to see what that looks like after the upgrade. So. Uh, Let's go ahead and run down uh, a list of everything that we're going to cover in this video. Uh, all right, so uh, basically uh, we start by having to stop our uh, zone minder service. Once that is stopped, we are going to uh, install python-software-properties. Once that is installed, we can add the repo for zone minder so that we'll be able to update it and then we'll go ahead and kick off the update. After the update is finished, uh, we can edit our zone minder configuration just to make a minor change. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and install VLC and some of the VLC libraries that are needed for the update and restart zone minder. And lastly, we'll see what the new version of zone minder looks like. So let's get started. So we're going to start this by basically stopping our zone minder service. We'll do a sudo systemctl stop zoneminder.service. Give that a second to stop. Now that that is stopped, we are ready to install python-software-properties. So in order to do that, we're going to do a sudo apt-get install python-software-properties. And of course, as always, I'll fast forward through this so we're not waiting around for it to finish. All right, so our uh, install finished, and now we're ready to add the ZoneMinder repo and go ahead and update ZoneMinder. So in order to add that repo, we're gonna do a sudo add-apt-repository, uh, ppa colon iconer slash ZoneMinder. And I'll put all that in the description so you can just copy and paste it in there. All right. So let's go ahead and do a sudo apt-get update. All right, now we can do a sudo apt-get dist upgrade. That's basically distribution upgrade. And I'll fast forward through this. There's one part during this uh, distribution upgrade that it'll ask you a question. Let's see if I can fast forward to where it does that. All right, so right here it's going to ask you if you want to keep the existing zone minor configuration or if you want to install the new version. By default, it's going to say no, I want to keep the current version, but what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take the new version of the configurations. So you're going to want to say yes. So hit Y and then it should finish out the upgrade. Give that a second to finish. All right, so now that our uh, zone monitor upgrade is done, we can go ahead and edit the configuration file and make one minor change. 
So we're gonna do a sudo vi etsy init.d slash zone minder. And we're gonna scroll down here right underneath where it says start. We're just gonna add a line right underneath there. We'll say uh, sleep. Just gonna put 15 seconds basically we just want to do that so that um, it gives my SQL a chance to start up once you have that in there you can save it and close that out so now we want to go ahead and install VLC in some of the libraries so we're gonna do a sudo apt get install libvlc-dev libvlc core-dev and vlc go ahead and hit yes again I'll fast forward through this so we're not waiting around for it to finish All right, so lastly, all we need to do is go ahead and restart ZoneMinder or start ZoneMinder since we stopped it at the beginning. So we're gonna do a sudo systemctl start ZoneMinder. So as you can see here up at the top, we're now running 1.30.4. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the new version of ZoneMinder and see if there's any differences. Now, one thing you'll need to do um, if you have been using ZoneMinder quite a bit is you may want to clear your cache on your browser so that it'll recognize the new version. Um, I didn't really have much issue with that, but uh, if you do, if you run into any issues, you may want to try that and see if that fixes it. For the most part, honestly, it looks the same. I'm not really noticing any differences. Uh, I was expecting a bigger change. Uh, as you can see, uh, the menu here looks the same to add a new camera as well. So, uh, anyways, we're on, in, we're on the newer version of ZoneMinder. Uh, that's basically what we were going for. Uh, you should be able to use this anytime you want to upgrade ZoneMinder. Um, that's the end of the video. Let's go ahead and run back through everything that we covered in this video uh, one last time. So we started out by just stopping our ZoneMinder service. Uh, then we installed python-software-properties. Uh, once we did that, we added the ZoneMinder repo and went ahead and did an update. Uh, once the update finished, we edited our ZoneMinder configuration to add in that 15 second sleep so that it gave MySQL a chance to load. Then we installed VLC in the VLC libraries and restarted ZoneMinder. And of course, lastly, we took a look at the new version of ZoneMinder to see what that looked like. That's all we got, folks. Hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. Um, also, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out here, again, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can't get something to put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you around. Thanks.